Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Thursday, February 3rd. Wow, what a day today. What a wild day. If you watch the market today, we had a big, big drop in, in all the market averages because of uh, Facebook and the, its earnings last night. It came out after the close last night, and the market tanked, and it went down even farther today. But then, after the close today, Amazon came out with blowout stellar earnings and almost all of the NASDAQ decline has now been erased in after hours trading. If you're not uh, up to speed on that, I'm letting you know that nearly all of today's decline in the NASDAQ has now been erased because of NASDAQ's earnings. So NASDAQ is way up. Uh, Jeff Bezos is net worth is up by about 15 billion I read Mark Zuckerberg lost 30 billion he's now number 12 on the all-time rich list he dropped down quite a few notches with the sell-off in Facebook I happen to have bought some shares of Facebook today around 245 245 dollars a share we'll see what happens folks let me let me say something and it's something that I have spoken about many times in the past I mean you see what's going on right here with this volatility, like big up, big down, back up again. I just read a thing where some of the dealers and, and some of these big players are getting killed, they're getting chopped up, they're getting whipsawed, they have positions on and options based on volatility and then it's going one way and they have to reverse it and then it goes back the other way and then they have to reverse that. that is, that's no way to go about investing. All right, you need to have some focal point out there in the future. And, and by focal point, for me, what I'm talking about is just a basic knowledge of or a basic understanding of economic conditions. How are basic economic conditions and how will they be shaped? Because ultimately, that's what's going to dictate where the stock market goes. Otherwise, you're going to be going in and out, jumping in and out, one day up, one day down, chasing after a move higher and then dumping out on a move lower, that is a losing proposition. Okay? I think that's pretty easy to see. So what I use, again, I go back to the core of my analysis, which is, are the fiscal flows. And let me point something out to you, because there's been a, a stark shift in the flows, and I've been talking about this, not only that I said the month of January, the federal government is running a surplus of $20 billion. we're now in February, but the month of January saw a, a significant drop-off in the flows. December ended with, um, I believe it was $585 billion net spending for the month of December. January ended with 490 billion. So that was a 95 billion drop in spending. That, that's a fiscal cliff. That's a 95 billion drop. Less spending going into the economy in one month in January. This to me totally explains the difficulties the market is having. And by the way, it also explains why we just saw the ADP payroll number on Wednesday was negative 300,000 jobs. Tomorrow we're going to get the BLS number, the government's number. The forecast there is for a, a payroll gain of 225,000, but if you look at what happened to uh, the ADP report, they were looking for a 250,000 increase. They got a negative 300,000 on the jobs. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But this is what I focus on, and that's why for me, now, I just said the NASDAQ is way up in the, in the aftermarket uh, right now. It's going to be up tomorrow based on the Amazon earnings. Like down, today it was down huge. Now it's up. The whole thing, today's complete decline has been wiped out, and now it's on the upside. I'm still selling. Because what I look at is that focal point down the road, and that for me is what are the basic conditions of the economy going to look at, and what will dictate that for me it's the fiscal situation. It's not monetary policy, although that might be very marginal. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't pay attention to Fed meetings. I don't pay, pay attention to monetary policy. And I've said that a million times here. I told you guys, 
you know, just divorce yourself from that. Monetarism and this crazy, insane tunnel vision focus on monetary policy, which has been going on for 50 years now, 40 years at least. I mean, it's a form of mental illness. I mean, you cannot read anything or listen to anything pertaining to the financial markets without somebody chiming in about what a central bank is going to do or what the Fed is going to do or where interest rates are or balance sheets or some kind of bullshit like that. And it's all garbage. It's irrelevant. You got to look at the fiscal situation. We had nearly a hundred billion fiscal cliff falling over that cliff in January. Now, February, if you follow the numbers, if you bought my course, Understanding the Daily Treasury Statement, you know that we started off in February. We now have a deficit again, but you know we're a couple of days into February. And every month starts out like that because the big spending is on the first of the month. On the first of the month, you get you know, um, Medicare, Medicaid, military pay, veterans benefits, disability, a whole bunch of stuff goes out on the first of the month. If you receive some of that, you know what I'm talking about. And so you get a big bulge of spending on the first of the month. So naturally the first of the month looks like a deficit. But we had the same thing last month and then it slowly, slowly trickled into a surplus again. And I think that's where we're going because as I said yesterday, I don't see any change in the pattern of the fiscal. Okay, we lost the child uh, tax credit payments in December. That was the last one. That's why we had a big December. And then all of a sudden that fiscal cliff in January, very obvious. That's not coming back. We're still running on a continu re continuing resolution, which, uh, by the way, expires in 15 days. <laughs> so they gotta, they're going to have to come up. Congress is going to have to come up with an answer to that. What are they going to do? Shut the government down this time? I mean, the Senate is, is a disaster area of just contentiousness. Speaking of the Senate, we had Joe Manchin today saying, hey, you know what? Build Back Better is finished. I'm not going with it, but there is something I can go with, and that's deficit reduction. And the Dems were all like, oh, let's craft some bills that we can bring Manchin on board. And those are going to have to be, what? Deficit reduction. And if they do something like that, I can tell you that for the next two and a half years, until the 2024 election, and then really into, what, January 2025, almost February 2025, we're going to have a shit economy and a shit market. If they do something like that. That I will guarantee if they do some kind of bill with debt, they call it with revenues and savings, like the government has to save its own money that it creates out of nothing. It's very frustrating if you're an MMT guy like me, having been involved in this uh, movement and, and spreading the word about MMT for the last 22 years, to see like zero, zero progress on the policy level. Like to have a guy like Manchin, who's like a quack anyway, but he is in charge now in terms of policy because he's the swing guy in the Senate. And the Dems just want to get something passed. Hey, if we could bring Manchin on, let's do it. It doesn't matter if it's going to be negative. They don't care. We're going to, we, they could cheer. Hey, we got something done. Yeah, what you're going to get done is launching a torpedo into an already stumbling economy. Great. Great. So we got that going on too. So have that focal point out there. Don't go running around back and forth one day up, one day down, one day up, one day down. Headline, oh, I'm going to do this. Another headline, I'm going to do that. Doesn't work. All right. So I think it's a bear trap. What's happening? The market's going to go open higher tomorrow based on Amazon. I'm selling into that. We'll see what the number is tomorrow on the jobs. My guess or my sense it's going to be weaker because I just, you know, it's that fiscal situation again. I mean, I see this before the numbers come out because 
This is what drives everything. You have to understand that. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. Enjoy the ride. See you tomorrow. Bye.